Yeah guys, what up? It's your boy King Snakey Gaming back with another video. Now in this video, I literally just upgraded Trevor's car. I just bought it. Um, it actually go quite fast. This car. Um, so first of all, let's get down to our tracks. Now I'm going to show you guys the full driving track that no one knows about. It's located right here on the map. No one really knows about this track. So the entry is right here. Obviously the exit's over here. It's actually a main road. The exit because it turns into a road. Now let's get up there, guys, and we'll have a bit of drive up there. Um. I'm estimating around about, oh mate, he's got good lights. A couple of minutes driving, so about three minutes I reckon maybe in the drive. Boring. And a big, long, boring drive. <laughs> now, what I find stupid about people that like full driving in the game is they will they'll cut the track and that makes it especially the track we're going to now if you cut this track it's the world's easiest wheel driving track but you actually stay onto the track and act like it's real life for example and don't get off the track it's actually quite a challenge um because you, you can roll your car and you can get some pretty good speeds and you get sudden braking and all that um some really pricks of turns which um I like to stay on. So um it does come with a pain obviously guys. But you can't really do much about that. Ah, oh, don't beep your horn at me boy. I can barely see where I'm driving. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Oh do you see that weaving skills guys? Off the third person camera. And going. We <laughs> get sideswiped. That sick tire looks. There's the next car just out there. Get around him. We got the almost hit him, man. Yee boy. Hey, fool. I thought they crashed actually, which is quite surprising. I've been driving like an idiot. Alright, let's get out of this stuff. Ah! Uh oh! TV rat! Now, I don't mind the whole horn situation on the roof, it's just I don't like the horns on the bonnet. No roof scratches on the car yet. Two little taps, but not bad accidents. If you guys want, you might as well go ahead and skip like another 30 seconds or a minute and be up to the track. I'll show you guys the track. Everyone likes Mount Chiliard as for driving. Um, I don't mind it, but go off the track on Mount Chiliard, that, that's a challenge. Uh, um, get up in the Zen tornado. Um, it, really hard but you, you can get it um i have done it in practically every spot on the mountain in story mode on mount chiliard there is not you know how story mode you're gonna discover the map on mount chiliard none of us discovered every single little inch has been discovered because i've been able to climb up it doing the zentorna glitch which is obviously you can get the zentorna from the garage um do a glitch and you can upgrade it to how you can online which is plenty dying handy. Now, when you get to this track, guys, it does not look like a track. It looks like just a one of water runoffs on the edge of Mount Chiliard. But it actually does turn into a track. So, you'll see cars. Oh, that thing. Don't know how that thing got out here, but it, it is out here. And you come down to this campsite, which I reckon is stupid that you can't actually hit the camping tent. Because it's a tent. In real life, I believe you can run over a tent. <laughs> you can walk over a tent, for God's sake. So, you know, see what I mean, guys? If I cut the track here, it'll be just really easy and simple, especially this bit here, which I hate. Trying to hit that wooden barrier. See what I mean, guys? By tight corners, if you actually just stay on the track, it does become a bit of a challenge. Um, we'll keep going. Now, as you guys would know, my favourite tool is be the Rebel. Um, like the June Buggy set out one, not the, not the clean Rebel. I like the dirty shitty one because it does look pretty damn tough. 
Now guys, here's where I would accept cutting the track, because I hate this spot. We're going to do a UEN the end here. And you got this track here. Hold up. Let's put it in. I haven't been on this track for a long time, guys, so I'm it's redogging my memory being on it. <coughs> but I do remember the spots when I see them. Especially that spot there. I always remember that one, anyways. Um, there are some pretty tight bits. Where you got fences like that, but you can obviously knock down them fences, but. No matter. Now I'll cut the track a bit there. <laughs> we are. Oh, let's drift. Oh. Gain control of the vehicle. <laughs> Um, let's go on thing up here guys, so the parachute there that spawns in automatically at the top, probably you might have seen it from the screen. Now here's where you have to be careful. How hard isn't that roll guys? So back up. Now when you're reversing up a really steep hill or going forwards up a very steep hill, don't full gas it, otherwise this will happen. Now I'm full gassing it right now. It will just keep rolling forward slowly. So what you're gonna want to do is you wanna go slowly like about Three quarters of the throttle, and it usually will get you back up. So this is only three quarters, guy. All right, guys, it's only three quarters of the throttle, and look what it just pulled me up. So I'm a really steep, shitty bit of the hill where I have went down in my race car, like in my zens, and ah, uh, went off here a couple times too. Actually thinking about it. Now we're going down there. Ain't that stopping us now? Yeah, no, this is a crappy spot on the mountain. Not the half of it will not even work here. Oh. This is full throttle forward, guys. If you angle it a bit, maybe I'll get up. Yeah. Now, once I'm up this little section here, I'm up. There we go, I'm up. Um, so, that's what I mean, guys. You've got to kind of take it easy and not gun it on this track like how I just did. Because <laughs> um, that will happen to you. Um, now, at least for some particular there, I've launched off a couple of times. Cut the track here. Cause, uh, I've, I've launched down there a few times where I've just like, kind of clipped down there. But it's not mean guys like this crappy track this is like it's really easy to come off the track. Now the whole fun about it is you gotta stay on the track. Um there is water here guys, so like a dam and storm most of my boat here and drop my boat in there and play around. But um getting the boat to here was a whole different challenge, but it, it was it wasn't that much of a challenge because I used to enter from the opposite side, which is the side we are heading down to right now as we speak. Um, I want to get this out there guys, um, if you guys are watching this video, put a complaint into Treyarch, uh, Treyarch, I'm going to find too much COD, <laughs> um, Rockstar, and I want deer back in this game, so that way you can hit deer in that, <laughs> and they should put pigs back in it, there's pigs in story mode guys, um, it's very rare to come across them, I do know there's one location with a few of them, if you guys want to see that, um, just comment on the bottom of this video if you guys want to see me catch pigs, I'll show you guys the spawn spots of them. Um, yeah, sometimes you can find pigs just out of the blue random. Um, they're very rare to come across. You're going to be like, in the hills like where we are now, there are pigs on this track here that we're on right now. Yeah, but when I bring my boat in here in storm mode, like on that dam there, that we come in on the track we're on right now. It's a bit, I don't know, it looks shitty, but... To drive a trailer and on, and you're taking it easy, not driving like a spastic in here, like faster. Like, the thing about this, going up a hill like this isn't actually that bad. Going down is where the prick comes in involved. Um, like that shit there, it doesn't come in. Someone's in game chat. Um, I would say, guys, sometimes Mount Chiliad is the better track to go on, depending on what you want to do. If you want to go for a heap, uh, big steep hill climbs, where you can get off the track and not be able to get back into it. Mount Julia is the one you want to go to, but then if you want a nice melee forward driving at the same height, but there is a risk of losing, losing your car in the ocean if you hit a corner too fast. 
Um, even on the other track, I was like hit it from the very entrance and went flying. And lost me down there to the water. I didn't see the drink a few times I've done it. Um, more than a few. I do it all the time. I always use my phone in there. Um, now, for the rest of the guys, you can gun it because it goes to like an ordinary road. Which is why I like to bring the boat on this entrance because it is a lot more calm of the road. As you can see, it's flat. That's just how I are. I washed my car off there once. Took ages to get out. And then you got that idiot who watched the T-bone next to the bridge. And that's it, you guys. And you're on the. Come onto this road here. Um, some people don't know what this road leads to. Um, this road right here. It's where you do your. Uh, one of the heists, I believe. I can't remember what heist it's called. I've done it so long. Wait, I'll take you guys down here. I'll show you guys what's down here, anyways. Oh, yeah, and guys, sorry for not having the intro on this video. Um, it's just a lot easier to upload without the intro sometimes, guys. But, um, when I sort of go over 10 minutes of my videos, I don't put the intro on them, as you guys have probably realised I haven't put the intros in the last few videos. Um, sorry about that, but it really doesn't matter. It's just a little thing. It says King Snake you game, if I play really quick, it's, like, it's six seconds long, I believe. But this is what's down here, guys. Um, it's the highest. you got to come down here and get your helicopter. So, why oh, do you get a land it here when, after you steal it? There is a boat here, guys. It's usually, oh, yeah, there it is. Um, there's a gang attack there, so you gotta watch out. Get done by them. Yeah, and this is actually a quite a good boat. It's the speeder. Um, this boat is worth about 100k, I think it is. I might own one. It, this isn't the speeder, actually. This is the Jet Max. I call speeder. I oh, have some nice speed in it though. Quite unrealistic how your boat can go under the water. Like, I'm saying, this. The hell the back just submerges. Um, I reckon this is real life. I would have sunk the boat behind here. <laughs> well, that guy's like, what kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> I didn't know that you could get a boat and down and leave the water like that for like two seconds and still come up on the other end dead dry. There is obviously a couple bugs that they have to work on in this game. Is that being one of them? <laughs> um, it's added in there actually, purposely, I'm pretty sure, but I reckon it's quite stupid. You should be able to sink your boat if that kind of shit happens, but you should be able to just drive along like this and your boat. Oh, I'm a fisherman in real life, guys. The back end of the boat does not come out yet. Um, oh yeah, and I want to tell you guys, I will be buying a, what's some call it, um, kayak, a fishing kayak soon, guys. That footage will be uploaded to this channel if you're into fishing. Um, kayaking in Port Phillip Bay in Victoria, going after whiting, flathead, squid, fish snapper and snapper season, and that comes on. Um, freshwater fishing in that, um, into, so, and I have all my Hero 3 Silver Edition GoPro, um, so I've just got working, so, um, I will be doing that, I will have hunting videos, and then six weeks after I get this off my hand, guys, I will be doing hunting videos and fishing, especially motocross videos, guys, um, I do love my motocross, and I will be showing you guys some wheelies in that, like, how to wheelie, I'll give you guys a couple tips on that, um, because I do love my bike riding, especially that, I'm passionate about that. Um, my boxing, there might be a couple of boxing videos, I can't really confirm that. But um, the 100% I'm guaranteeing motocross videos and fishing. Hunting, maybe if I have my GoPro on my phone when I'm there. Um, that just depends on the spirit of the moment. So guys, this is all for this video. Um, thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe. Please hit that like button. Peace.